you know, you, you had that avulsion fracture in your thumb, and that's what they got with the Aaron Fox. How similar are the two injuries, and how what insight have you kind of given them to uh, dealing with the pain? I'm not a doctor, so I don't really know exactly how similar the injuries are, but uh, I just know he's going to play. You know, thanks to them, you're playing. <laughs> We're getting this game, so um, I'm happy he's playing. And, it's all that matters. Just how huge is that for you guys that he's playing and that you've got him? You guys. Oh, it's big. Players. I mean, I think we wouldn't we wouldn't shut up if he didn't play, you know. So uh, we're, we're we're happy he's on the court. He made a decision early, and we're good. How were you worried when you first when you first heard the news, broken finger? Were you worried that you'd be without him? Uh, yeah, of course, because you know it popped up on on Twitter, Instagram, whatever it was, you know. And uh, we knew after the game he got hit, but we, no one knew to what extent, you know. But called him quickly. And we're good. How does he look in your opinion? Oh, he's great. You know, he's ready. You know, he's not trying to pay attention to it. You know, and just uh, fight for it. You got a game five in a two-two series. How important is, is getting tonight at home? Uh, it's big. You know, we're at home. We got to protect home court. You know, uh, in front of our fans. You know, uh, I feel like it's gonna be a good one. Are you ready for a breakthrough game? You kind of had some struggles here. Uh, no, I'm not even thinking about that. I'm just thinking of what can we do to win. You know, um, there's a lot of we've been playing good defense, but I feel like there's moments we we can play better and play 48 minutes you know and the, the playoffs is about the team you know there's nothing important obviously if, if i do better it might help the team but at the end of the day you know we just need to get win you know everyone's going to be happy if we win so that, that, that's, that's definitely the goal coach talked about cleaning up the transition offense what have you kind of seen when it comes to that uh just like you said you know there's a lot of shots that we just jumped in the air you know up one foot and then hope for the best you know uh, on the road that's not going to happen you know so i'm um, just being smarter with the ball in, in those situations because we did get a stop. We're running in transition. We do have an advantage. Might as well take advantage of it and, and, and get two or three points, you know. So just being smarter with that, and that's what I mean. Like, if we can just do better in those little areas throughout the game, you know, it's, it's going to come a long way at the end of the game. Have you been satisfied with the way you've done the totality of the series and the way you've played and tried to figure out some of their defensive things? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, um, obviously we feel like that. That last one was on us, you know. Uh, we definitely felt like we had a chance to win, and um, we came up short. But that's why it's a long series, you know. And we have home court today, and uh, we, we got to go take advantage of it. Do you feel you'll have to play any sort of different role with the way you know Darren does have this injury and, and anticipate having to do anything different? I think it's going to be exactly the same, or even better. You know, I've been saying that all year. You know, he's going to come up, he's going to show up. Going back to your injury, what have you done? What have you done for kind of pain management when when it first happened? It was maybe a little more raw. Um, you know, just treatment. You know. Same staff is taking care of him, you know, so we're in good hands, you know. He's, 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 he's going to definitely be ready, you know. The fans are going to help, too. Let's try what have you learned about your team in this process with having one or two out of um, Just, you know, every, everybody's locked in mentally, you know. Uh, we've played closer to 48 minutes than we have all year, you know, on the defensive end, you know, and uh, that showed. That's how we got those first two wins, so we got to keep putting that together. Has Aaron asked for any advice going through this? Um, no, you know, he's, he's good, you know. Um, he was... He kept it quiet when it happened, and then when it happened, he was like, I'm playing, so, you know, we're, we're confident in him. Do you feel that it just, when you look at the series as a whole, like, it, for your team, do you feel kind of going to these next three going that they, they haven't even had our best shot yet? Um, they probably feel the same way, you know. I feel like every team feels that way, you know, but um, we just got to put a whole a, a whole game together, all, all the little pieces that matter, you know, and uh, um, we can do that. It's going to be good night. Not trying to get you in trouble with the the officials, but how do you get to the line more, especially last game? I mean, it's not getting there at all. I don't know. You know, I'm trying to be aggressive, shooting the same shots every game, being inside, you know, banging in there. So, um, you know, maybe be smarter with the ways I'm going up and stuff, but uh, we'll see tonight. Is there motivation just being able to be as successful as you guys were in game four on their home court, knowing just how good they are at home? Oh uh, Yeah, of course. We can definitely use that to... For our, for our mental toughness, you know, know that uh, we can compete in their core, but it doesn't matter. We got to take care of business tonight, you know. So um, all focus is tonight.